can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Suppose that f is a cubic function and f of 2 raised to 0 is 0, f of 2 raised to 1 is 1, f of 2 raised to 2 is 2, and f of 2 raised to 3 is 3. Then the goal is to find the numerical value of f of 2 raised to the fourth power. Now, the answer is not 4. So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given that f is a cubic function that satisfies this condition, f of 2 raised to 0 is 0, f of 2 raised to 1 is 1, f of 2 raised to 2 is 2, f of 2 raised to 3 is 3, then what is the numerical value of f of 2 raised to the fourth power? So to answer this, let's observe the given. Because take note, when we subtract the first equation to the second equation, we get that f of 2 raised to 1 minus f of 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1. And if we subtract the second equation to the third equation, we get also 1. And same thing, if we subtract the third equation to the fourth equation, we get also 1. Now at this point, let's focus on those results. Now from here, notice that 2 cubed is simply equal to 8. 2 times 2 times is 8. And these 2 raised to the second power, those are just 4. 2 raised to 1 are just 2, and 2 raised to 0 simply equal to 1. Now, why is this important? Because take note, when we subtract 1 to these three equations, we arrive at f of 2 minus f of 1 minus 1 equals 0, f of 4 minus f of 2 minus 1 equals 0, f of 8 minus f of 4 minus 1 equals 0. And we see a pattern in this format. Because we can rewrite this as f of 2x minus f of x minus 1 equals 0. Because 8 is 4 times 2, 4 is 2 times 2, 2 is 2 times 1. And also, let's call the left-hand side as another function, and let's call this as capital P of x. So P of x equals 0, wherein P of x is f of 2x minus f of x minus 1. Now, why is this important? Because take note. When we let x equals 1, 2, or 4, p of x is definitely equal to 0 because p of x is f of 2x minus f of x minus 1. And also, this tells us that we can rewrite p of x as follows. p of x can be written as a, wherein this a is constant, multiplied by x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 4. From here, if we let x equals 1, this entire thing on the right hand side becomes 0 because x minus 1 is 0. And the same thing when we let x equals 2, this term becomes 0, so the right hand side becomes 0. And if we let x equals 4, this term becomes 0, so the right hand side becomes 0. So definitely p of x equals 0 when x equals 1, 2, or 4. And now the goal is what is the value of this variable a? And in order to do that, let's equate this function f of 2x minus f of x minus 1 to its equivalent because this is equivalent to p of x and p of x is equivalent to a times x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 4. And finally, to get the value of this variable a, let x be equal to 0. Why 0? Because the right hand side is just f of 0 minus f of 0 minus 1. And f of 0 minus f of 0, this is just 0. So bring down negative 1. The right-hand side is just negative 1 times negative 2 times negative 4 or simply negative 8. And to get the value of a, divide both sides by negative 8. So a is just 1 over 8. So the value of this constant a is just 1 over 8. So let's replace this with 1 over 8. Now, from here, we cannot get the value of f of 2 raised to the fourth power because 2 raised to the fourth power is just 16. So, if we let x equals 8, this will give us f of 16 minus f of 8 minus 1, and all of this x becomes 8. 
Now, take note, rewind f of 16. Also, take note that f of 8 or f of 2 raised to the power of 3 is simply equivalent to 3. So, we can replace this with 3. Now, simplify. Negative 3 minus 1, this is just negative 4. And on the right-hand side, 8 minus 1 is 7, 8 minus 2 is 6, 8 minus 4 is 4. Now, 6 is 3 times 2. So, 8 is just 2 times 4. So, this is just 7 times 3 or simply equal to 21. Now, add 4 on both sides. We get f of 16 is equivalent to 21 plus 4 or simply equal to 25. And this is also the value of f of 2 raised to the fourth power. Therefore, given that f of 2 raised to 0 equals 0, 2 raised to 1 equals 1, f of 2 raised to 2 equals 2, and f of 2 raised to 3 equals 3, then the numerical value of f of 2 raised to the fourth power simply equal to 25. And as always, we are done.